Colleague Christian Amanpour in a two-part special beginning tonight on ABC. Christian goes back to the Holy Land to take us inside the history and mysteries of the Bible. And Christian, you met with one scientist who says there's actually proof that the great flood that took away Noah's Ark existed? Well, as you can imagine, historians, archaeologists, uh, discoverers are always trying to figure out were these stories true, what aspects of them were. Now, nobody really believes they'll ever find an ark. I mean, for obvious reasons, wood, decay, etc. But Robert Ballard, who found the Titanic shipwreck in 1985, believes that there is evidence of a massive flood about 7,000 years ago, which is when the Bible situates Noah's story, and he thinks it's in the Black Sea region of, the, uh, of Turkey. Let's take a listen. Our journey to investigate the story of Noah and his ark led us to the banks of the Black Sea in Turkey, where we heard that tantalizing clues were being uncovered by Dr. Robert Ballard, one of the world's leading underwater archaeologists. All right, let's get closer down. We were astonished to learn that he believes the biblical flood could have actually happened, and he says he can find proof. Oh, Something here. What's this? What's this? If you were to discover definitively something that could pin science on the Noah story, how fantastic would that be? Well, it would be pretty cool. And I'm confident we can. We just have to look. Now, using advanced robotic technology, he's traveling even further back in time. I'm putting a lot of money in the water and obviously can't wait to see what it's going to see. We talk about the floods of art, living history. Boy, they don't compare at all to the floods of ancient time. The question is, was there a mother of all floods? Ballard thinks there was, and he's testing a controversial theory that the biblical flood happened here. Why the Black Sea? Well, because the Black Sea appears to have had a giant flood. Not just a slow-moving, advancing rise of sea level, but a really big flood, and people were living there. The theory goes this was once an isolated freshwater lake, but then, when the Mediterranean swelled... At some magic moment, it broke through and flooded this place violently. What did Noah or the people who lived there during what you believe to be this huge flood, what did they see? It probably was a bad day and a lot of real estate, 150,000 square kilometers of land went under. And 400 feet below the surface, Ballard believes he's found proof that of that catastrophic event. I love it. I love it. I love it. They unearthed an ancient shoreline. Well, we actually dated it, about 5,000 B.C. And that is about the time that the Bible says exactly. Noah and the Great Flood happened. I mean, wow. Wow. So it nailed it. Wow, Christian, what an adventure this must have been. It really was an adventure. We trace Moses' steps up Mount Sinai. We trace Abraham's path. And, you know, it's really actually a very healing message because this is the Old Testament. It shows how Jews, Christians, Muslims have the same biblical patriarch, Abraham, and how there is a possibility of uniting as well as this fantastic adventure that we were on and this beautiful shooting all over the Middle East, Egypt, Israel, all sorts of areas. It's oh, fabulous. We cannot wait to see it. It begins tonight. It's called Back to the Beginning That's begins right. tonight at 9 o'clock on ABC and then next Friday as well, two-part special. Thank you very much, Christiane.